Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today I wanna show you by far my favorite way of doing an email mail merge. We're gonna use tools that anyone can access. They won't cost you anything. You don't need a subscription. We're gonna use Excel Online together with Power Automate to do a mail merge. Now, if you've never used Excel Online or if you've never used Power Automate before, don't worry, I'm gonna make it super clear. We're gonna go through step-by-step -step how to do a mail merge. So don't worry, I got your back. First off, you might be wondering, what is a mail merge? Well, let's imagine that you have a large family and Christmas is coming up and you need to send out an email to all your family members, maybe talking about what happened during the year, and you wanna customize or personalize each individual message. Maybe you wanna say, dear Uncle Bob, or dear Aunt Susan, and then maybe within the message you wanna call out their kids, Maybe you wanna call out what, when their birthday was, and maybe you then wanna sign it. You could go through, and maybe you have to send out 100 of these emails, you could go through manually, type in all the information, and then send them out. But that's gonna take a long time. Instead, let's rely on the computer to do the heavy lifting for us and customize all of these messages. We're gonna set up an Excel table with the information, and then we're gonna use Power Automate to send out the emails. We'll be able to send out emails with, whether it's Outlook or even Gmail. Either one, we have that customizability. Lastly, with this mail merge, first off, we're gonna start with the basics, and then I'm gonna show you how you can do more advanced mail merge. Let's say you wanna customize a subject. Maybe you wanna include an attachment, or maybe you wanna BCC or CC someone. You can do all of that. All right, well, enough talk. Why don't we jump on the PC, and let's see how we could do this. Here I am on my PC. How do we get to Excel online, and how do we get to Power Automate? Let's head to the website, office.com. If you already have a Microsoft account, you can click on sign in. I mentioned at the beginning that you can do this entirely for free and you don't need a subscription. If you don't yet have a Microsoft account, you can sign up for the free version right down here. You could create a free Microsoft account. Once you create your free account, click on sign in and log into the authenticated version of office.com. Here we are on the authenticated page of office.com. As a quick side note, this page is near and dear to my heart. This is the experience that I worked on when I worked at Microsoft full time. Once you log in to office.com, first off, we need to create an Excel sheet that's going to contain all the information that we want to insert into an email. So as a first step, let's click on Excel over on the left-hand side. Once you click into Excel, this opens up the Excel start page. I'm gonna simply start with a blank document. However, if you already have your data, let's say in Excel spreadsheet, you're gonna to have to make sure you save it on OneDrive. By going through Excel online, by default, the new document will already be saved into OneDrive. I'm now in a new blank workbook in Excel online, and I need to add data in that I wanna use for my mail merge. Luckily, I already have some data that I want to use, and if any of you have watched any of my tutorial videos before, you probably realize that I'm building up the IT capabilities of the Kevin Cookie Company, so today seemed like a good opportunity to build out my invoicing for some of my larger customers. I've now pasted data into the Excel sheet and I wanna take a moment to describe what's here. There are a few different columns. I have a name column with customer names. I have the customer's email address. For simplicity, I'm using the same email address, but in a real mail merge, I'd have different email addresses here. I have how many boxes of cookies they ordered, how much they owe for all of those boxes, and then the due date. With a mail merge, I'm gonna take this information and I'm gonna insert it into a personalized email message. For example, I might say, hi, Bob. Your order of 150 cookies is due on this date for the amount of 7,500, and then each individual customer will get their own personalized email message. One thing that's extremely important is you wanna make sure you have an email address in here as well as any other information that you wanna use in your customized message. We're gonna use this as a source for all of the personalization for your email message. Once we enter all of the data into this Excel spreadsheet, we need to do two more things before we move on to Power Automate. Up on the top bar, you can rename your Excel spreadsheet just so it's a little easier to find. Right now, my file is called book one. Let me call it something more descriptive. I gave the spreadsheet the name KCC Billing. That sounds good to me. 
Next, I need to make sure that the data I entered here is in a table format. To do that, I simply highlight all of my data using my mouse, and then up under the Home tab, I can go over within the Home ribbon and click on Format as Table, and I'm just gonna go with this light design. It doesn't really matter what it looks like, I just need to make sure that it's a table. This pops up a dialog that says format as table, and there's one option here that says my table has headers. As you can see here in my table, name, email, boxes of cookies, these are all of my headers. So I'm gonna make sure this box is checked and then click on okay. Now you can see all of my data is in a table format and I've now done everything that I need to do in Excel online. So we can now move on to Power Automate. I'm back on office.com and next we want to go to Power Automate. You might be wondering what is Power Automate? Power Automate allows you to automate very many things and it allows you to connect different services. Today we're going to be connecting Excel online with email whether it's Gmail or Outlook to send out a mail merge. But you can do a lot more than that. If you're interested in learning all about Power Automate I have a tutorial video that you can access in the description. If you've ever used if this then that before, Power Automate is very similar to that. On the office.com homepage, to get to Power Automate, you won't see it as one of these core apps here. However, if you click on this icon in the bottom left hand corner for all apps, this will show you all the different apps that you have access to. Now once again, even with a free account, you get access to Power Automate. Now that we're in what's called the app gallery here, I can see all of my different apps and right over on the right hand side, I see Power Automate. Let's click on that. This opens up Power Automate and once again I have a tutorial where you could learn more. There's quite a bit here and you can do a lot of amazing things using Power Automate. Today we're just going to stick to a simple mail merge. Over on the left hand side let's click on the option that says create. This opens up a screen where we can create different flows. For instance, you could automate a flow. You could even set up scheduled flows. Let's say you want to send an email every week. You can do that. But for now, we want to create an instant flow. What this means is if you have your Excel spreadsheet and you want to send out, say, bulk emails to a list of people within that spreadsheet, you are going to trigger the start of this flow. So let's click on Instant Flow. This opens up the Build an Instant Flow dialog. And first off, we need to give this flow a name. I'm going to call it KCC Billing Mail Merge. Once I type in the name, I need to choose how I want to trigger this flow. I want to manually trigger this flow, so anytime I want to send out a mail merge, I'm going to initiate the mail merge. I'm going to click on this option and then click on Create. Next, we can start creating our flow or our mail merge. As a first step, let's click on the option that says New Step. First, we want to connect to our Excel spreadsheet because we want to use that as part of our mail merge. If you have a work or school account, you're going to want to connect to Excel online or business. If you have a personal account or if you're using just a free account or a consumer account, we want to use Excel online for consumer, so I'm going to search for Excel. Once I type in Excel, you'll see an option for Excel online OneDrive. Let's click on this. Next, it shows me a whole bunch of different actions that I can take on my Excel spreadsheet. Now, once again, Power Automate allows you to do all types of different automations. So you can add rows to an Excel spreadsheet. You could delete rows depending on different things that happen. Today, though, we want to use it for mail merge. So I'm going to select the option that says list rows present in a table. What this means is it'll fetch all the data that we added to a table in our Excel spreadsheet and it'll make it available for our mail merge. Let's click on this option. Next, I need to select the file that we want to use for our mail merge. I'm going to click on the picker. This opens up a file picker that shows me all of the different files that are in my OneDrive account. Now, once again, I mentioned that you need to make sure that your Excel file is in a OneDrive account. If you created it in Excel online, by default, it'll be in OneDrive. Down here at the bottom, I see my KCC billing file. I'm going to click on this. I want to use this for the mail merge. Next, I need to select the table that I want to use, and that's why it was so critical to add a table to the Excel spreadsheet. I didn't give it a fancy name. It's simply called Table 2, so I'm going to select this in Excel online. You could also give it a more descriptive name, so it's really clear what it is. Now that we've added the spreadsheet, we want to add the email step. So once again, let's add a new step. 
So, so far I'm getting the Excel spreadsheet and now I wanna take another action and I wanna mail this out and I wanna use Outlook to do this. So I'm gonna search for Outlook. Here you see Outlook.com shows up as one of the options. If you have a free consumer account, you're gonna to wanna to use Outlook.com to send out the email. Earlier in the introduction, I said that you're not just limited to Outlook. For instance, if I type in Gmail, you could even send your email merge through Gmail. So you could use any email provider that's connected to Power Automate. I'm gonna use Outlook.com for this example. Once again, with a free Microsoft account, you also get access to Outlook.com. Let's click on this. Once I click on Outlook.com, I have all these different actions that I can take. The one that I care about though is the one that says send an email v2 with Outlook.com. Let's click on this option. This now opens up an email field where I can start customizing what my email looks like. At the very top, I specify who I want to send the email to. If you remember in the Excel spreadsheet, I had all the email addresses listed out. Let's click on two. And then over here, you see an option that says add dynamic content. The way to think of dynamic content in our Excel spreadsheet, that's all content that we can pull into here. Let's click on add dynamic content. And here I see the email address from the Excel spreadsheet. I could also click on see more and that'll show me all the different fields that I can use. For the to field, I wanna use the email. So let's select that item. Back in the text field, I have the email address entered. Now I could specify a subject for my email. Now one of the great things about doing a mail merge through Power Automate is that you can customize the subject. If you've ever done a mail merge through Microsoft Word before, this is one of the deficiencies where you can't customize the subject. Power Automate allows you to do this. Now I want to type in the person's name and then I want to say your Kevin Cookie Company invoice is due on and then I want to list out a date. Just like I did with the email address, here too I can insert dynamic content from my Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to click on add dynamic content and first off I want to list out the name, then I'm going to have a comma and then I'm going to say your Kevin Cookie Company invoice is due on and here I want to insert the due date. Now one thing to note is these are all of the column headers that I had in my Excel spreadsheet. Let's click on due date and now I have a fully customized subject. Next, I wanna type in the body of my email message. I'm gonna click into this field and then I'm gonna type in dear. Here I wanna insert the name once again. And then I wanna say, we hope you enjoyed your Kevin Cookie Company cookies, your bill for, and then I'm gonna list out the amount due. So we're gonna have the amount due, then there's gonna be a space and, and now I'm gonna list out how many boxes that they ordered. So here too with dynamic content, I'm gonna select how many boxes of cookies. So it'll have the number, then it says boxes is due on, and at the very end, I'm gonna insert the due date. Now what's really neat here is as I compose my email message, as I compose my subject, I can simply click on all of this data that I had in my Excel spreadsheet, and it'll use it to customize my message. Now at the very bottom, which is very fitting, I'm gonna say thanks, Cookie Monster. Now that I finished composing who it's gonna to go to with the email address, I have a customized subject, and I also have a customized body, let's click on show advanced options. Within advanced options, I could specify who it's coming from, who's on the CC line, and also who's on the BCC line. With mail merge in Word, unfortunately you can't do CC, you can't do BCC. So this is another advantage of sending a mail merge through Power Automate. You also have the option to attach files, and in a moment I'll show you how you can attach a file. For now though, I wanna show how you can just send out this mail merge as is, and we'll come back to attachments once we send out the initial mail merge. Once we're all done, let's click on save. I've now finished creating my mail merge. We have all the data in Excel. I've customized my message. Next, let's click back. Here I'm now on the main flow screen and this will show me details about the flow that I created. It'll show when I've run it in the past. It'll show me that I'm connected to Excel online. It shows me that I'm connected to outlook.com. As a next step, I need to run my mail merge and up above I can click on run and that'll kick off the mail merge. Let's try doing that.
When I click on run, this opens up a pane on the right hand side. And first off, it checks to make sure that it's able to connect to the Excel sheet. And it also checks that it's able to connect to outlook.com. If this is your first time doing it, you'll likely need to log in, type in your username, password again, to make sure you're connected to these services. But once you do that, you should see a green check mark for each of these. Once you do, let's click on continue. Once I click on continue, I now have the option to run the flow. Let's run it and start sending out some of these invoices. Voices. It's now successfully started my flow and I can view the progress on the flow runs page. When I click on the flows run page, here I see that the mail merge completed in seven seconds and it succeeded. It, once again, if you've ever done mail merge using Word, Excel and also Outlook, you'll notice that the mail merge tends to take a bit of time. This is nice because it all happens behind the scenes. Now that I'm in my email, here we can see that the mail merge successfully completed. You see that the subject line is customized and you also see that the message itself is also customized. Next, I wanna go back to Power Automate and show you how you can include an attachment as part of your mail merge. To get back to the flow that we created, let's click on My Flows over on the left-hand side. Here we see the KCC Billing Mail Merge. Let's click on this. Once I click on it, up in the top left-hand corner, I can go back and I can edit this flow. Now I'm back in the flow, and if I hover over here, I can add an additional step. I wanna attach a file, so let's add another action and click on this item that says add an action. Within here, I wanna attach a file that I have in OneDrive. Once again, we need the file to be in OneDrive. I'm gonna type in OneDrive. And depending on what type of account you have, again, if you have a work or school account, click on OneDrive for business. If you have a personal or a free account, click on OneDrive. This opens up all these different actions that I can take within OneDrive. And I wanna get a file, so I'm gonna scroll down and click on Get File Content. Once I click on Get File Content, I now wanna pick the file within my OneDrive. I'm gonna click on the picker, click into Root, and now I'm gonna scroll down and click on one.docx. I wanna include this file in every single invoice that I'm sending out. You could imagine that maybe this is a flyer or maybe you have a go green attachment, any type of attachment. You could even do it so you have customized attachments for each individual. Now that we've specified which file we wanna attach, we now need to include it as part of the email. Let's click on the last step of our flow. If we go down to the bottom again, we see our customized email message. Let's click on show advanced options. Within advanced options, we wanna give the attachment a name. I'm gonna call this flyer.docx. And then down here, you can specify the file content from the previous step. This is dynamic content, and this will be the attachment. Once we're satisfied with all of this, let's click on save. Once we save it, once again, I can go back and now we can run this new flow. Up here again, let's click on run. This opens up the pane on the side and let's run the flow. Now if I go back to my Kevstrat2 at outlook.com inbox, here you'll see I have the customized email message and it also includes the attachment flyer.docx. So not only am I able to include attachments, I can completely customize the message. Now one thing you might have noticed in my mail merge is if we look at the amount due and I also look at the date, it took these and it didn't maintain the formatting. When you insert fields like this using Power Automate, it's a best practice to convert it to text before you start the mail merge. If I go back into Excel online, you can right click on the item, click on number format and change it to text first, and then you could format it to exactly how you want it to appear within the message. I sent another mail merge and here now for the dollar amount, you see the dollar sign appear and now for the date, because I formatted it as text, you see that it appears as I would expect it to. So this mail merge is now exactly how I want it to be. Now, as this example shows, it's always a good practice to test out your mail merge first. Send it to one of your email accounts, make sure that it's working properly before you send it out to a massive number of people. The last thing that you wanna do is send out a mail merge only to discover that something wasn't formatted correctly or something wasn't exactly how you wanted it to be. All right, well that's how you can do a pretty advanced mail merge entirely for free using Excel Online and Power Automate. If you found this video helpful and you now know how you can do a mail merge, 
please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed and as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye.